mastering ISF filing for temporary U.S. relocations. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing an important question that many individuals who are completing a temporary relocation to the United States often ask. Can the ISF, importer security filing, be filed for goods imported by an individual? Before we delve into the answer, let's first recap what the ISF is all about. The ISF is a requirement imposed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all ocean cargo shipments coming into the United States. It is a security measure aimed at ensuring the safety and security of the supply chain. Now, back to our question. Can the ISF be filed for goods imported by an individual completing a temporary relocation to the U.S.? The answer is yes. An individual who is relocating temporarily to the U.S. can file the ISF for their goods. However, there are a few important considerations to keep in mind. First, it is important to note that the ISF filing is typically the responsibility of the party responsible for bringing the goods into the United States. In most cases, this is the carrier or the customs broker hired by the importer. However, if you are an individual importing goods for your temporary relocation, you may need to take on the responsibility of filing the ISF yourself. Second, individuals completing a temporary relocation need to be aware of the time constraints associated with the ISF. The ISF must be filed at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto the vessel that will bring them to the U.S. Failure to timely file the ISF can lead to penalties and delays in the clearance process. Additionally, it is vital to ensure that all the required information is accurately provided in the ISF. This includes details about the importer, consignee, buyer, seller, and goods being imported. Providing incomplete or incorrect information can also result in penalties and potential problems during the customs clearance process. To simplify the process, individuals completing a temporary relocation may choose to work with a licensed customs broker who can assist with the proper filing of the ISF. A customs broker has the expertise and knowledge to navigate the complex customs regulations and can help ensure that the ISF is filed correctly and on time. Lastly, it is important to mention that in addition to the ISF, individuals importing goods into the United States may also need to obtain a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures any potential import duties, taxes, or penalties are paid to the CBP. It acts as a form of insurance for the government. In conclusion, individuals completing a temporary relocation to the United States can indeed file the ISF for their imported goods. However, it is crucial to understand the responsibilities, time constraints, and accuracy required when filing the ISF. Working with a licensed customs broker can make the process smoother and help avoid any potential complications. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you found the information about filing the ISF for goods imported by an individual completing a temporary relocation to the U.S. useful. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Disclaimer note below, see you next time.